21st century art has evolved into, uh, as we're finding out firsthand today in New Orleans, it's just as, it's as much about money as it is about uh, as the artwork itself. They go hand in hand. They're tied together. And you know, and if without it, without one, you don't have the other, and without the other, you don't have one. I mean, you, you, there there's a dance that goes with it. And what's interesting about glass is there's analogies between there's analogies between the studio art glass movement and other medias. And today's society, how that plays itself out is you have the news media is changing and is being changed by how we view and see the news through the internet. Glass blowing in the past was always done on a large scale or a large setting in a factory. But once it was uh, eliminated, once that need was eliminated, the, the utilitarian need eliminated the you know glass blowing machines and being able to be done on a, a large scale. The glass blower no longer needed to do all of the functional wear. We didn't need to make all of the jars, bottles, functional items, and that, that allowed it to become expressive, allowed it to become fine art, and done solely for the purpose of expression. All right, my, my name is Andrew Brott. I'm a glass artist by craft and trade, I guess you could say. But more importantly, I, I see myself as a philosopher, hopefully, for the next generation for people to look to. And I'm leading by the actions of what we've done post-Katrina. I'm a classically trained fine artist. I'm a classically trained glass artist. I, since I've been 16 years old, I've been making glass sculpture in one form or another and went to college for it. And as you are trained as a craftsperson, your, your visual vocabulary grows. You begin to be able to analyze and problem solve and then create new and different work. But does that work have meaning? Does that work, how does that relate to society?